Hello and welcome to the daily devotion this morning and we are glad that you could join us. I'm going to read to you from Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 21 and it says, Do not pay attention to every word people say or you may hear your servant cursing you. This morning I'm going to address the theme when you get sticks and stones. When you get sticks and stones. Once I heard a little boy who was being teased by a group of children and he told them, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And I thought to myself, boy, he's got some nerves. As we all know, the words that uh, people speak against us, hurtful things that people say against us or about us, can be incredibly hurtful, you know, leaving deep scars that even physical blows would ever leave upon us. When people express things that uh, wound us and we know that such people really mean what they say from the depth of their heart, then the persistence of these emotional scars is uh, entirely reasonable. Now, sometimes, however, we put too much stock in what people say about us. We hold on to the hurts you know, caused by words spoken in a fit of anger or frustration and not necessarily out of the rationality you know, settled upon us or the rationality settled opinion about us. And we also hold grudges against those who have spoken unkind words against us. And even when those offenders come to apologize and they have taken that extra mile you know, to be truly sorry for what they have done to us and ashamed of hurting us, we still hold grudges against them. Today's passage you know, points out the foolishness of holding on to such uh, grudges and the silliness of uh, taking words spoken in a fit of anger too seriously. And that is verse 21. You may hear your servant cursing you. What may be in view of this verse here is that the idea that we might pay too close attention to the unkind words of those who are not likely to hurt us we will unnecessarily have our emotional life disturbed when we pay close attention to the words spoken against us by people who cannot hurt us. It does not make you know, good sense to listen to those who cannot really hurt us, like the servant who is dependent on us in the formal sense. If we do you know, listen to those people who cannot hurt us, we will be distracted from the important work that God has given us and we will be caught up in you know, trying to make peace with people who never really want to be at peace with us. As uh, Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 4 says, in many cases we must not answer a fool according to his folly. In many cases we must answer not a fool according to his folly. Harsh words spoken against us are painful to bear. But we have to develop discernment regarding when to take those words seriously and when should we actually be ignoring them. We should keep this in mind that our tendency to speak unkind words against others, uh, you know, are very necessarily part of our life because we are also sinful. And during these uh, days of lockdown, there has been so much of animosity and these exchange of words and families and relationships that people are hurt because they have learned to uh, stay together for the very first time probably in their life because work had kept them so busy that they did not know what relationship uh, meant and now in the exchange of these words when they cannot bear one another for more than an hour seeing one another in one family in one house it is quite an unfortunate sight to look at but this morning, God possibly wants to deal with those issues of our own life. We should also keep in mind, you see, our own tendency to speak unkind words against others so that we will refrain ourselves uh, from gossip. Yes, there are cruel people who will say nasty things to you and about you. Yes, it hurts. And uh, one should also you know, think that we shouldn't become so silly enough to pretend that it does not hurt us. However, let us be very real about life. People say bad things about us, but bear in mind 
that we have also said about others things that uh, you know are not very very pleasant we are all sinners and uh, we treat others sinfully and that is just part of being a sinner so solomon encourages us to see the need you know to grow a little thicker emotion while words hurt we are all guilty of using words recklessly in our life if we are receiving sticks and stones this morning if we have gone through situations when we have been hurt during these days if we are receiving sticks and stones and if we see that we are having a tendency to be deeply hurt by the careless remarks and the insensitive rem remarks of people take this counsel from solomon this morning number 1 he says do not listen too closely to anything unkind that people say but rather listen carefully to what god's word says to you and number 2 do not care too deeply for the insensitive opinion of others but be willing to bear the words of others as jesus did in his lifetime as an individual jesus was never felt cut too deeply by the criticism of others regarding his entire life as an individual so may god help us to have that thicker emotion and not be offended too easily in life so that we may not be disturbed in our emotions but be able to pay attention to the important work that god has given us to do let's look to god in prayer father we thank and praise you for this morning we know lord that uh, we live in a sinful community and we are sinful ourselves and we have used words recklessly and uh, we confess that we don't want to be part and parcel of that batch but lord we want to be refined and also lord give us a greater thicker resistance and a discernment to know when to take opinions seriously and when to ignore them so that we will not be disturbed in all that you have given us to do bless your children and keep them in the center of your sovereign will in jesus name we pray amen thank you so much for joining us this morning have a blessed day